Alright, so, um, I've seen a lot of people mention, um, some of the troops, they don't know how to counter, they're too hard to counter, or what can you counter them with, um, and my explanation for, especially for the sniper, my explanation for the sniper is, charge that sniper down with your hero, don't let that sniper sit there at the back, picking your troops away, picking you off, get up in its face, take some damage, and take that sniper out. Um, so what I'm hoping to do with this video is just give my opinion um, on how I play. It doesn't mean it's the the right way. It doesn't mean it's going to get you to the top. It's just my opinion, but it might give you guys a base idea of what you can do, what kind of works, what kind of doesn't. Um, and that's what I hope to, to achieve from this video. So by all means... Don't take this as I'm telling you. Everything in this video is going to be based on my opinion. Uh, I would use a Nightingale deck to, because I know a few people have said, asked about Nightingale. Uh, but I currently don't have a Nightingale that can hold up in Pro 2. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use my Misty deck. Um, and we're going to see what opponents we come across and I'll run through a few things as we come across each opponent. Let me just check on the sound that the music level isn't too loud. That's fine. Alright. Let's see what we get here and I'll try and explain what I'm doing as I go. And I'll try and explain why I why I attack certain troops with my hero and why other troops I just leave them alone. Okay, so we're facing a Miss T. This could be interesting. So what I'm gonna do here is let's see if she rushes me with any minions. Alright, no rush with the minion, so I'm going to drop my change gang. Straight away, sniper. Get it up in its face, get rid of it. Don't let it sit there. Okay, I've taken two hits with the sniper, but the sniper's now dead. I now have control. All she's got on the field is two, fair, you know, two minions that aren't going to cause me much trouble. So I'm going to cycle around so that these minions follow me. Okay, I'm down, which is what I expected, so I'm first to go down. But I have a rhino, a sniper, and a change gang out. So I'm in a very good position. So let's heal up my team here. And we're just going to stay back now. We're going to fall back. And we're going to plug her away from range. I don't need to get up in her face yet. I'm holding on to my ultimate until she drops her next thing. She's dropped her ultimate, so I shall drop mine. I'm now going to bring out my uh, bulk war to buff my team. To keep that defense up. I see another sniper. I'm going to get straight on that sniper. And I'm going to get rid of him. I'm going to drop my own sniper while I try and get rid of the sniper. Alright, that sniper's down, so I'm now going to fall back again, and I'm going to drop my Rhino. You can see now that I've got full arena control. There isn't much that's going to take this team down now, because Miss T doesn't have an ultimate that can do that. Miss T has only just lost her first life, which is a little concerning. Let's knock that sniper out. I'm going to have to be careful, because if I go down within the next 4 seconds, I'm done for and I will lose. We both altered at the same time. Next KO wins. So I'm going to bail out here before Pogo gets me. I'm a one hit down. I may lose this. Yeah, okay. So I lost that, yeah. I lost that just by, by, a, by a fraction. But you can see for some of that time, I had that board control. Um, it wasn't the greatest example since I lost. But uh, you can see that every time the snipers came out, I took them down. I'd have been in a lot more trouble if I hadn't have taken those snipers down when I did. We got another Misty. Okay. I was hoping for a few different heroes. So I'm hoping that we get a few different heroes here. So we can show some different strategies with different heroes. Again, all of this is my opinion. Okay, so we've got nothing to worry about, so I'm going to drop my chain gang. If she drops something big, then I would definitely drop my Findlock and my Archer first. So I'm going to herd around her minions. Let's drop my cubes here. I'm taking a lot of damage by herding the minions like this, but it does give me options. Because they're going in circles around me, they're taking a lot of damage. And it's left my minions to be able to stack up. So I've dropped my Rhino, he's causing some trouble over there, and now I'm going to pull my Sniper out. 
because her minions are distracted by my rhino. I'm gonna hold off on the ult for now. There we go. So she ulted first, which means now my ult will last longer than hers. Because I ulted after her. So she drops her ult, and I finish her off. We're gonna drop another rhino now because we have nice arena control. I'm gonna drop my healing. And I'm gonna drop a sniper at the back line again. Drop my cube as well. So she's struggling to get any minions on the board right now because I have my defense up and my rhinos are pushing those minions back. Let's drop a chain gang for good measure. There goes her second life. And you can see right now that I've got full arena domination. And I'm gonna ult at the same time as her this time because the time is running out, so I'm not really fast. We're not gonna lose that one. Again, all of these strategies are my own opinions. They may not work at a higher level. I don't know yet. I haven't reached that higher level. But overall, it's it's pretty solid advice. All right, let's see if we can get a different hero. Let's see if we can face up against something other than a Miss T, just to give a demonstration of something else. There we go. Okay, let's face off against a Nightingale. Nightingale's one of uh, one of Miss T's weaknesses, uh, due to the fact they can be very defensive if played right. Again, nothing dangerous. She's not spawning anything dangerous on the first one, so we're gonna spawn our chain gang straight off the bat. Only time you don't wanna, only time I don't spawn my chain gang straight off the bat is when she pulls out something big. So I'm now gonna drop my flintlock and archer and my sugar cubes to keep those minions distracted for a little bit. I'm gonna drop my healing on my minions while the other minions are distracted. Let's try and drop bulk, uh, bulk early this time. Right, so I've just seen a Elderkin appear. I'm not leaving him around, I'm gonna get rid of him fast. Yes, it cost me my life, but I need to get rid of him. There we go, he's gone. And now because we're down a life, I'm gonna ult sooner. And I'm gonna try and pile the pressure on her Okay, she used her ult there, which she shouldn't have, because you can't really finish me off with an ult in my T form. I'm going to heal my minions up, and again, once again, you can see now, the Nightingale is struggling to get anything on the field, because I have field, I've got arena domination again. I've got two big bulk rocks defending, and I've got snipers pushing the back, and I've got myself here healing the rest of my party. It's... It's a struggle to pull back. Once once you get that arena control, your opponent really can't pull back from that. Um, obviously with an area of effect spell, like maybe a mana missile, um, um, what else? Maybe a group of uh, high level armikins. They could have taken that and turned the tide backwards. But generally, if you lose that tide battle and you let your opponent have that arena control, it's pretty pretty hard to pull back from that once you've got that many minions on one side of the board coming at you it's really hard to be able to pull that back all right we got another mist tea a lot of Miss T's lately. A lot of Miss T's. So again, yeah, let's see what she pulls out first. If it's something dangerous, okay, that's fine. This is good. So a Switchblade will chase me and only me. So let's have him chase me. It's going to give me a great opportunity to try and get this board control straight away. So she's got one Switchblade out and a Fencer. I've already got my Chainling out, I've got my Flintlock out, and I've got my Archer out. And I'm about to drop my Sniper. Let's drop my sugar, cu sugar cubes to try and um, distract some of those minions off me. Uh, actually, we're going to turn in and I'm going to drop my healing now. So let's drop my healing on those to try and keep them alive. Switchblade and Pogo are still after me. She's lost her first life already. I've got two Switchblades on me. This isn't good. So now what I'll do is I'm going to... Once I respawn, I'm going to ult and I'm going to clear the board. Let's get rid of these Switchblades. Let's drop another Chain Gang. Ready for when we finish this Switchblade off. And we're going to drop a bulk wart as well. 
to give that defense. And now we're going to try and push for this arena control. Because we're in a great position to be able to do this. I've got defense here. I'm going to heal these guys up. That's, that switchblade went straight down. And now I'm starting to steamroll into my arena control. You can see now she's got one minion on the field. I've got about five. Let's drop the rhino to keep the pressure on those minions. Here comes the switchblade. There's the death that we needed. I'm going to fall back to avoid that switchblade. And then I'm going to ult to defend myself against her ult. And there it is. Oh, let's open up a chest while we're here as well. And then we'll do one more fight, and then I'll call it for this video. I just want to do a little video on what my strategy was and how I played Miss T. Um, I found having that arena control is what really made me a better player. Before that, I was kind of trying to push the hero. I was trying to get my minions to attack the hero. I was trying to get my hero to attack the hero. And it wasn't working. It really wasn't working. And what I didn't realize was... I just need to use my hero to pick off the good troops and then I can just leave my troops to pick off all the rest that's fine and then we can start building up that nice big um, arena control and then we can just steamroll our way through alright let's see what we find here Another Miss T for the end end of this video. Um, Alright, dropping Chain Gang. Cause she's, oh, dropping Hunter. Okay, nice. Again, I like it when they drop those um, hero hunting minions fast. Because it means I can, I can start my board control straight away. Oof, unless you do that. Very nice. Let's drop my Sniper. Let's try and keep Chain Gang alive. Let's drop some healing. So I'm going to drop some healing there. Try and keep my Chain Gang alive a little bit longer. And it worked perfectly. Now I'm going to spawn in my second Chain Gang. There's my death. But then there's her counter death. So again, I've got Arena Control straight away. Now I can either ult now or I can wait for her to spawn some more minions in. Okay, she's ulted so I'm going to retaliate with my ult. The reason I wait until she ults first is that it means mine lasts longer. So she will be out and exposed from her T form before I am. There we go. Let's drop some more healing. I've got two snipers on the field now and a rhino, and she's got nothing on the field at all. She has no minions here right now. I'm going to charge this mage down because I'm a whole life ahead, so I can do so. I sacrificed that life to get rid of that mage because I didn't want that mage to pick off some of my um, army. And now we can just sit back at the back and we can just let this run. We can just let the course run. We don't really need to do much more. I've got defense here. She's ulted, so I'm going to retaliate with my ult again. Just to protect myself in case she decided to charge me down with her ult. It's now um, whoever gets the next KO wins. Um, and I'm in a good position to defend that. So let's heal my team up here. And we can just kind of sit back over here and we can just wait. Because there's not much she can do against this. She's pretty much... There we go. There it is. And that'll be the final game for this video. Um, I'm hoping that helps people get an idea that you can definitely sacrifice a life to rush minions. You can definitely sacrifice a life to give you that arena control. Um, it's okay to do that. Again, don't overdo it and don't start whisking life after life to get it because then you're just going to lose. But to sacrifice one heart to give you that arena control is so big it is it is a major game changing point um if you can get that arena control without losing that life wonderful but generally it costs a life to get that arena control cemented in place properly um because what you'll find is you'll lose your life but then you've got enough minions there that they will quickly lose a life while you're respawning you then respawn and you can spawn those minions because the hero is down. Again, I'm not the greatest player and if anybody wants to give me feedback, leave it in the comments or when I post it in the Discord, leave it there. Say, you know, suggest things. If you think I can do things different, I'm open for that as well. 
but I generally wanted to give this video I wanted to put this video out there because I see a lot of people going this this and this is happening and I don't know what to do about it and this is what I've recently discovered so I just kind of wanted to share that information um, so hopefully it's helpful people 